Welcome to the August issue of PRS. Uh, it's hot in Dallas and, and that's apropos because we're going to talk about hot topics in plastic surgery. First we'll discuss some patient satisfaction with facelifts and then how to select breast implants and then Botox treatment for raised or hypertrophic scars. Our first hot topic aims to find out what facelift patients think about their results using a validated questionnaire called the FaceQ. These patients reported a high level of satisfaction in their overall facial appearance and quality of life, which was really broken up into an improvement in their social confidence and psychological well-being. Makes sense. These patients reported an extremely high satisfaction with their decision to have the procedure and were most satisfied with the appearance of the improvement in their nasal labia folds, their cheek appearance, their lower face and jawline. On average, the patients reported that they felt like it took at least seven years off of their, off of their face. Fascinating results. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, there are over 250,000 breast implants performed in the United States alone. This was from 2014. Our next hot topic discusses a very important part of breast augmentation, that is the selection of the right implant for the right body type and what are the results. These authors determined that the choice between anatomic or round implants is largely determined by a combination of the patient's desires, the patient's anatomy, and the patient's surgical history. And also, it's the surgeon's selection process as well. If you're one of a quarter of a million women considering breast augmentation this year, it's important to analyze what's right for your body type and discuss your expected results with a board certified plastic surgeon to achieve the best results with the right type of implant for you. Our next hot topic looks at how we can further understand why botulism toxin type A, commonly called Botox, it has been shown to be effective in treating hypertrophic scars, scars that are slightly raised. They collected 10 tissue specimens, five normal mature scars and five hypertrophic scars, and then studied the effects of botulism toxin type A in vitro. From their tests, they confirmed that this injectable can positively treat raised scars because it directly inhibits what is called a fibroblast to myofibroblast differentiation, which is responsible for the inflammatory process in your body. Confirming this treatment's efficacy with this laboratory's research, the team indicates that botulism toxin type A can be used preemptively to treat wounds expected to develop in hypertrophic scars after trauma, burn, or even elective surgery. Fascinating study. These very unique and different hot topic articles demonstrate the range and versatility that is in PRS, from the clinic to the operating room, from the research lab to everyday plastic surgery. Go and see the world's best peer-reviewed literature in plastic and reconstructive surgery in PRS. Look at our YouTube channel, visit prsjournal.com, prsglobalopen.com, and then for more information about all of these fascinating topics, please visit plasticsurgery.org to make sure you find a board-certified plastic surgeon in your area that has the expertise to give you the best results and the most safe outcome. Have a great summer.